आई गुट गुट करके पीनी है क्यों रुक दी नहीं आई गुट गुट करके पीनी है क्यों Hello, this is Ashna from Ashna's Wellness. Thank you for joining me again for another video. Today we're actually going to be talking of all different kinds of milks. Um, it's it seems like when you go to a grocery store, there's a different kind of a milk that's popping out pretty much in the grocery store aisles every you know pretty much every couple months. We'll find a different type. So that's a question that I get asked all the time. Um, this is good cashew milk, almond milk. You're trying to lose weight, uh, you know, for kids. If you're lactose intolerant, so they're like, so I have you know, I still don't have everything that's available yeah, on my space here but again pretty much they're about I don't know if I would just generally count the number of quantities maybe go 20 plus or even more types of meals that you can just pick up the store and so um, you know so again there are many types so what I'm going to do is pretty much what I'm trying to keep this conversation out of this video simple I'm actually going to divide it in two different types um, I have dairy and I'll probably divide my videos into parts so you don't have to watch all of different meals all at the same time uh, so we have a lot of non-dairy option milks here and a dairy option so difference again dairy again we've always been used to you know growing up uh, wherever that you're originally from growing up we always had regular milk called uh, cow's milk um, we've had goat's milk we've had a lot of people who would live in typical uh, like uh, even in northern parts of India we also had buffalo milk so all the milks you know we were all fine um, and I wanted to go back and start this video saying that a lot of people have heard this many times what happens is they say I was fine back in India I could drink milk anytime but coming to this country I just cannot digest milk and because these are the same people when they go back again for a visit or a vacation they again can drink milk coming back here again they just cannot drink milk again um, so what's the difference so let's go and talk about of course there are a lot of allergies um, going on but I could probably have a couple of hours of video on this but again I'm going to try to keep it short and simple so you exactly know what the difference in all the different kind of milks are so again dairy of course anything that's coming from either cow um, cow's milk again cow's milk is also different types you can either get low fat non-fat full fat homogenized pasteurized um, then you can also get lactose free milk then you can also get um, a1, A2 kind of a milk, which is another new thing that's coming up in the last couple of years. Then we, of course, have goat's milk. Then we have, um, this is called a lactose-free milk, which we'll get to that in one of our videos. But let's go and talk about nut milks or, um, or dairy-free milks in general. So the first one I'm actually going to be talking about here is um, almond milk, okay? Um, like the name says, almond milk. Now, I wanted to mention what is almond milk. You can pretty much make it at home. The only difference when you make almond milk at home, it's going to be pretty high in calories in stores, but the dew is they actually diluted. Um, so all you need, again, I have cashews here, but same thing with, you know, almonds too. You're just going to take about a cup of cashews or almonds if it's either either one of the milks. And then take about three cups of water, soak it maybe overnight or something, and then use a blender, low speed, and then gradually increase your speed until it kind of forms a milky consistency. You can strain it with the cheesecloth later on, and that's pretty much what it is that's exactly either it's going to be almond milk or cashew milk um, so I have a cup of cashews here or if it's almond then you're going to take a cup of almonds now good option especially if you're looking to cut calories if you buy store-bought a store-bought almond milk like the one I have here is about 40 calories in a cup um, I've seen some brands with 35 calories in a cup but that's the lowest so it's a 35 calories versus regular milk based upon if it's 1%, 2% full fat, could be anywhere between 100 calories to 150 calories in a cup of milk. So this is only 40 calories in a cup of milk. So especially for people looking to lose weight and maybe cut um, calories, it's a fantastic source. Now, a lot of people have this question, but if I don't drink regular milk, am I going to be calcium deficient? Don't I need calcium? That was a thing many years ago, which I'll probably get to one of my uh, videos, is what has happened in the last many years, a lot of the homogenization of the milk the calcium is not what it's supposed to be, which it was in milk many years ago. So in fact, milk, as per USDA, a regular you know, cow's milk is not even considered a good source of calcium anymore. But this is about double or maybe about 50 times, 50% 50 more calcium. So almond milk, cashew milk are about 50% per times, uh, 50 more calcium than a regular cow's milk. So that's perfectly okay to have that. The only thing that nut milks lack is protein okay um like for example this is probably going to have either zero percent or one uh, zero grams or one grams a regular milk is probably going to have seven to eight grams in a cup of milk but this is just going to have either zero grams or one gram of protein in a cup of milk so it pretty much lacks they are fortified with vitamin d calcium extra they're pretty good source of phosphorus and also magnesium which nuts are a very good source of magnesium so which is good too so that's a good option so again 
to simply say it, good option for people to look um, to cut calories. I would not suggest you to give it to kids all the time because kids do need more protein. Um, if you're making a morning protein shake, which you already have putting a protein powder in it, so it's perfectly fine to cut calories, you know, put a scoop of protein powder and then take almond milk or cashew milk, so that's perfectly fine. So that's, you know, almond milk here. Um, and then of course we have cashew milk, you know, whatever I talk about almond milk, applies to cashew milk too. Um, so one I have here, actually, it's even lower, it's 25 calories. Again, I make sure that I do get organic of all of this stuff because, you know, we've talked about this many times. It's always good to go organic with as much possibly as you can. Uh, so this one cup has only 25 calories. Um, this has a nutty taste. This has more creamy taste. Um, and you'll just love, I mean, this is heavenly. Um, you know, even coffee tastes amazing in this or just a regular protein shake or a banana smoothie or a pro whatever that you're making, even oatmeal tastes very good in a cup of cashew milk. So again, very good option for people to looking to lose weight. Um, and for people who are lactose intolerant or general, they have, you know, they're, they just can't digest milk. So that's cashew milk, same thing. You make it at home, one cup of cashews, three cups of water, soak it overnight, blend it low speed and then gradually high speed it and then that's you know homemade trash. you can always add fantastic flavors if you like vanilla flavored you can add your own vanilla flavored you want to make sure um, you can add some cinnamon to it you can add some stevia for some sweetening or some honey um, any flavor you like that's that's um, milk. now so let's go and talk about um, coconut milk again make sure you're always getting organic all of these things um, this is a very good company that makes a lot of good stuff and the reason I picked this company, um, Esso Delicious is what it's called, um, any of these milks, you want to make sure that you don't get what is called carrageenan. Carrageenan is an additive or it's kind of like an emulsifier that's added to a lot of these milks so that they don't coagulate. So that's carrageenan but um, a lot of research has shown that carrageenan creates a lot of inflammation in the body. So whenever you buy milks like these, you want to make sure that they don't have added carrageenan and the, you know, of course, the ingredients will say that on the back. So that's, you know, again, that's coconut milk. Again, um, dairy-free option. Now, coconut is pretty high in saturated fat, which means if you make coconut milk at home, which is what this would look like, all you take is a creamed coconut or like a softer part of the coconut and add warm water to it. Um, you can use a blender or just use it by hand and that's coconut milk. A regular cup of coconut milk is about more than 400 something calories and about 45 grams of fat. Uh, which is pretty high. So that means if you're really looking for a milk alternative, you just can't pick up coconut milk like this. I mean, that's just way too many calories and you're going to be gaining a lot of weight. So that's not a good option. Um, you can dilute it at home or you can just buy one of the store bars. Again, like I said, this is a good company, but again, make sure that whatever companies you're getting, um, they don't have carrageenan added in the ingredients. And so again, what I have here is one cup is 45 calories. So this is a store-bought 45 calories in a cup. Um, this would similarly to be like a homemade kind of a coconut. But this is probably used for gravies more, thickening agent, but you won't really drink it. But this, um, like I said, just a cup of it. Uh, so if I'm reading the label, one third cup of it has 150 calories. Um, so that's, you know, that's about 400 plus calories for a cup. So that's pretty high. Um, so that's coconut milk. Again, you can do the same thing. And that's, then we have um, soy milk. Again, I try to get orga uh, organic soy milk. No carrageenan added uh, to this one, the one I have. Um, what else? So that's soy milk, same concept. Now, for kids who have allergies to dairy milk, lactose intolerant, um, I would rather give soy milk. Again, organic soy milk, but organic is always GM in this if it, if it doesn't say, you know, organic, so it's always going to be GMO, so you want to make sure. But I would rather give soy milk to kids than just regular this because this is just about the same protein as regular milk. These milks, almond, coconut, soy, coconut is pretty much zero in protein. These have probably zero or one gram of protein in it. So if you really want to give it to kids, you want to make sure that you're getting um, either soy milk or added protein to one of these kind of milks. But soy milk is fine for kids, even for adults. So a cup of soy milk, um, 100 calories. Where are the calories coming from? Because it's high in protein. Every gram of protein is about four calories. So if it's another six grams or eight grams of protein, um, this one has actually seven grams. So that's that's where the extra calories are coming from. Um, and so that's what soy milk is. So again, these are all non-dairy options. I'll probably do a part two where we'll talk about the dairy options. Again, there are so many dairy options available nowadays that it's, uh, but I'll try to keep it simple. I might have another couple of parts in divide. And then I'll also do another video where I'll uh, pick and say, this is for people looking to lose weight. This is for people who have this deficiency. This is for people. So I'll do another couple of shows, um, videos on that too. 
but that's you know some of the nut milks and then we also have flaxseed milk i don't have it here um same thing flaxseed milk a very good source of omega-3s uh flaxseed milk is about 25 calories in a cup of flaxseed milk which is again fantastic and it honestly if, I, if you put a glass of regular milk in flaxseed milk they just about taste the same. So I think if you're really looking to cut calories and without changing the flavor of your coffee or your chai or a glass of milk or cereal, flaxseed milk, amazing. It doesn't have any flavor. It just tastes like regular milk. Um, trust me. So try that. They don't have that option over here. And then we also have hemp milk, again, made with hemp seeds. Um, that's another good option. Again, all these options are non-dairy options. That means they don't have lactose. Um, they're probably going to be good in some things, maybe lesser in some things. So you want to make sure if you're getting any non-dairy options, you get it extra fortified um, with either calcium or vitamin D or phosphorus and all those things. So you still get equivalent to your nutrient, nutrients which we'll get in regular milk. So that was my segment. Thank you for joining in for today's segment. So join me again for my next segment where we're going to talk about a lot of dairy options. Of course.